And studies were done all over about how long the generation gap was, and they came out with the idea that it was 20 years long. There. That's how much consciousness shift there is between one of these days and one of those nights. What used to happen in 19.7 years, the amount of change that happened in 19.7 years now happens every 360 days. Does that answer a couple of questions? Of why you feel a little overwhelmed from time to time. Get used to it. Or get over it. We are the Prozac nation. This is why we're going to talk in depth about that. The reason I said either get used to it or get over it is because here, what used to take almost a year, the same amount of change will be happening every 20 days. You guys, uh, some of you out there are the age where you would have gone to school for a career. You know, invested years of your life toward a particular career. Maybe you're on your third. By the time we get up into here, forget about it. Not that far away at all. This is a real situation. And this is really why we have these talks. Because without an understanding, without some plausible understanding of what it is that is happening not just to you, but to everybody, it's really difficult to handle it. And the more people do understand, and the more in depth you understand, the easier it's going to be to go through these transitions. You see, there's two things that are going on here. And then I'm going to go into some more detail, a little bit more detail. There's good things and there's bad things. The bad is that you were getting overwhelmed. The good is that there's more and more possible to occur all the time. Things that were completely impossible, miracles, things that would never happen back here, now are your daily life, like cell phones, for instance. Video phones, that kind of thing. So I want to take and show you that this process, it's like a constant acceleration. I mean, a constant from here all the way through it accelerates. And then it starts accelerating from here and it goes and faster and faster and faster. But each time it's 20 times faster. What happens is, if, imagine you're in a big semi-truck, sitting still in a parking lot. When you take off, you're going to take off in first gear, right? And you're going to go faster and faster and faster and faster until you're getting going as fast as you can in that gear. Then what do you do? You put in the clutch. That's this point right here. You put in the clutch, you reach for another gear, you let out the clutch, and you accelerate into that next gear. Very mechanical. I hope that that builds a good picture, because what we're going to be talking about. It accelerated from the Big Bang, accelerated faster and faster and faster, all the way up to this fifth day. Now, you understand that things were bashing into one another and blending in, in solar systems, exploding and all that, all the way up till about five billion years ago which was this fifth day. What happened then? That was the birthday of our solar system. In every one of these fifth days, it's the biggest opening for consciousness of the whole deal. It races up to that point and then, wow! Okay? So it go, 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 all the way up till this period, and then the solar system was formed. That's a big event for all of us. 
Then, during this fifth night, that's when everything gets applied, right? What happened? 250 million years of meteor bombardment. All the leftover junk in the solar system started plowing into all the formed planets. And the moons, Luna still has all the scars. All of the other planets without atmospheres still have the craters on them. Ours are a little bit toned down, but the, uh, the big Hudson Bay, Hudson Bay is a crater from that period of time. There are many, there's about five major ones on this planet that are still pretty prominent. Those meteors just plowed into everything. Good thing they did too. Because every drop of water on this planet came in with those comets. Every single drop. If that didn't happen, your bodies would be really small. Because you're like 87% water. Yes? Hi. Um I, I've been watching some of your tapes and, uh, and previous talks, and I remember when you brought this out, I was thinking, okay, my question would be, like, okay, with the book that you brought out by Dr. Kalaman, is this where all of this information is coming from? I mean, I never learned that kind of thing in school. Yeah. Well, no, actually, so the, it, the information, both of us have done a lot of research. So it's a sci there's scientific backup on all of this. Absolutely. Scientific proof of, of all of that. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. There is scientific proof of everything that we're talking about. If there is not, I'm going to say it's conjecture. Because there is there's one coming up, as a matter of fact, a conjecture. <laughs> so, that's what happens. Big breakthrough and then big bombs. Okay? Then, in this cycle, this fifth day, 315 million years ago, What happened is life took a walk on the beach. Everything back here is underwater. All the development of life was underwater. In the fifth day, the animals started crawling out onto the beach. Life moved to the land. 315 million years ago. Look it up. Then, during the fifth night, 97% of all life went extinct in the perm Jurassic extinction period. Pow! Another one of those comets slammed into the earth and 97% of all life was eradicated. The only thing left was little squiggly worms in the mud at the bottom of oceans. And it all evolved back. We have the paleontological records of all of this. Up here, in this familiar section, during the fifth day, this is when life scientists conjecture that color vision was installed in mammals. Color vision came in right then. And right here, during this fifth night, we don't know what happened. We don't have any conclusive data of anything that occurred there, but the monkeys made it or we wouldn't be here. Whatever they went through. But here in the tribal cycle, this fifth day is 800,000 years ago. And something very special happened during this fifth day. Very important. Fire. It's when the Homo erectus got the consciousness of fire. All over the world, all the different places, it was sort of like the hundredth monkey syndrome. Within, like, within some 3,500, 4,000 years, everybody had the consciousness of fire during that fifth day. It's a really good thing, too, because... 68,000 years ago, 680,000 years ago, we had the Elonian Ice Age. 